Hey, I am Ashley Andrews, and my focus is school counseling. I have been employed as a school counselor since January of this year. I work in Kenton, but I live in Trenton, so my commute to campus is about an hour away from home. Uh, like I said, I work in Kenton. I am an elementary school counselor, so I'm looking forward to a a new school year. I will actually be there for the beginning of the school year. Um, we're getting ready for our kids to return on Monday, so um, there'll be a lot of changes and, and everything. Um, I think this course is going to be really beneficial for me. Um, most of the groups that I lead will be counseling groups. Some of them may be considered a task or work group. But as far as my current um, counselor roles and responsibilities, I'm expected to lead some small group sessions with some of our fourth and fifth grade students. Um, so I, I really think this is going to be helpful for me. I tried, I attempted a few a small group sessions in April and May with some of these students, but I was pretty unsuccessful. And after reading chapter one, it's obvious I wasn't prepared as I should have been as the leader for that group work. And while we did meet weekly, I neglected to um, share very clear goals or expectations with those students at that initial first uh, group setting. Also, there was really no definite duration shared with the group. Um, again, I kind of went into it blindsided. So I think had I shown more leadership skills, the students might have taken it more seriously. Um, the guidelines that they went over in Chapter 1 for the group sessions, they seem like common sense when I read them, but I guess it certainly makes a big difference um, when you can actually share those guidelines with your group, and especially if you're working with children. Um, and one thing I found interesting was um, the example when the facilitator actually just moved the chairs and the seating arrangement around. Something as simple as moving the chairs kind of sparked more, participa more participation and more focus from those group members. So I think it's just uh, being on your toes and noticing, you know, simple cues that could make or break the, um, the impact that your group work would have. All right, thanks. I look forward to this class.